Welcome back to another back page gaming video. Today we are looking at my brand new custom tactics. A lot of you guys have been asking for them in the comments on our last one. I've changed it a fair bit. The team ends up having quite a different shape in defense from my previous tactics. I'm excited to show you. I went 9 and 1 today with them in the qualifiers. So, you know, they're pretty decent. Or am I just pretty decent? We don't know. Somebody else is decent is joining me. Robbie's here. Hello, everyone. Yes, if you don't follow us on Twitter as well, go do that. Jack tweeted out his uh, his match facts from his last game to not go unbeaten. I think he had 6.2 expected goals. Something was it, Jack, to his 0 0.9 and he took an L. I, did. Ideal, I, I, I don't want to talk about it. I was in a terrible mood, tilted to hell, but... The tactics were unbelievable. It was just that it was one of those games. You knew, you guys know yeah. what I like. But yeah, stars I'm not going to hang about. I'm going to tell you the team and the formation first. As you can see, I've changed. It's still 4 one 2 um, yep. I'm not going to have it pre-prepared for you guys. I know you're going to click at this point in the video and expect it all to be done. <laughs> so, we've got Fafana at CDM. Yeah. We've got Awar at centre mid. We've got Lucas Vasquez at centre mid. So, obviously, before, I was running four attackers. Yes. One of them being in the right centre mid spot. Um, and the cam kind of ended up left mid. And you're... Uh, that, I point at the screen like an idiot. Yeah. Uh, and that centre mid ended up in the right mid spot. As though yeah, it was sort of dropped in. Defense. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, yeah. I, I've, I've gone away from it, Robbie. Any reason? I think the... Kind of like the change in the meta recently is that you need to be a lot quicker on the transition. Yeah. Um, and for me, I think having that cam in the middle really does help out yeah. um, immensely. They just, yeah, they just got a bit isolated at left mid. Do you know when you, you're on a counter attack, sometimes they just yes. weren't quite involved in the attack when they're coming back from left mid, if that makes sense? I think these tactics are really good if you're in a very, very tight game and yeah. you know that you're not going to get many chances. The, these are the old tactics this is, whereas these ones, they kind of give you more of a fighting chance. You, get, you leave yourself a little bit more exposed yeah. in, you know, I'd say like a couple of times a game, but with that comes more chances. You know, it's a, it's a it's a toss up, isn't it? Every yeah. time we talk about tactics, it's a toss up. So, this is the formation. That's how they play uh, in game. I've played Genoa at left, but Rob, yeah, it's pretty simple on terms of defensive style. It's yeah. balanced. I don't like drop back. I don't like any of that stuff. I'm not a rat. Width, however, I'm very narrow. That is very narrow. Yeah, 30. very very narrow. Uh, 35 in fact sorry i've got to add five i can't read i've got all the tactics on my phone just here <laughs> um 35 width so basically i find that it, when it's too high your center back split too much and you know those kind of those horrible balls to deal with where it's like their right center mid just zoom sprays yeah. one through the middle of the pitch to their yeah. striker and you're just like Ugh. and you, your center backs too slow it just ends in tears doesn't it so yes that kind of negates that to some extent. Depth, however, Robbie, I'm a bit of a madman. I'm back. 70. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the semi depth. That's what I've been using recently as well. Yeah. It give, I think it is just right. Yeah. I'm, you know, I'm like Goldilocks. I've had, you know, I've had 80, and I'm like, oh, a bit too mad. Yeah. I've had 60, and I'm like, oh, not quite right. And then I've had 70, and I'm like, oh, just perfect. Thank you. Um, it kind of gives you an aggressiveness naturally almost yeah um that you can just be really aggressive and push up with your full backs a bit more push up with your center backs by the way don't be scared to go into the midfield with your center backs and pass the ball off oh i do a space. lot yeah yeah it's something that i think people are sometimes scared of having a nice one on the ball is really good for yeah. that like for me tiago diallo is my man yeah. that goes into midfield a little bit more he kind of just commits another man to a different area and you've got a different passing lane which is it always does, yeah. a good thing yeah if always you can thing. you know even if you get around the first man even if you just dribble with it five yeah. ten yards just to sort of commit someone Yardage. and then play it off you you've took one of their players out of the game at the end of the day which you wouldn't have done otherwise yeah um so with the four ones i'd say obviously it's a very kind of close knit formation your players are really close to each other all the time which is a good thing and a bad thing um social distancing obviously yeah definitely thing. covid i mean that's probably why people are getting covid they're playing four one two and two so much yeah um I've got fast build up and I've got direct passing. I'm not I'm not trifling around with this formation, Rob. All these tactics. Yeah, you I want to fast. score goals. Yeah. You know, it's like Ralph Ragnick is uh, one of his philosophies is you should only be about something that's about, about 30 seconds away from scoring a goal from t tackling someone in your own box. Right. So, you know, pretty you know, I'm, I'm emu emulating him here. Um, we've got 60 width, not a huge difference. 
you know, you don't you don't want to be too wide in this formation because the whole yeah. point of it is to be narrow. Um, plays in the box, I've got us five. You've got to be a bit aggressive. I find that for me, having that lone CDM by himself is, yeah. is fine. You know, you've got your fullbacks to drop in a little bit as well. It needs to be a good CDM. That's a hugely important position. We'll talk about the players yeah. that you want in these positions a little bit later. Corners and free kicks, uh, just on one. You don't want... Literally, if I yeah. could have nobody up for a corner, I, I would. I, get, <laughs> I still somehow get countered on when I've got one. Getting countered from corners is so easy this yeah. year. So, if you're not sure what you're going to do, pass it short and just play it safe and just recycle possession. Yeah. Um, it's never never a bad idea. So, Rob, onto the instructions, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are here for. Yes. Strikers, just leave them on, on simple stuff, mate. Just okay. don't change them. Yeah. I say, if you're going to change anything for the one that's got the better passing, better playmaking, I might put false nine. Just so they um, drop in a little bit more, yeah. Yeah, that is the only thing I'd change for me. Uh, I find that get it, drift wide, say central, don't like it. I want them to move where there's space. Yeah. And then also the classic, um, where is it? Getting behind, I do not like it. I find yeah. that they just stay offside the entire game. Yeah, the I know what you mean. one, however, the big one, obviously, come back on defence was what we recommended last time. This time yeah. we're going to stay forward, Rob. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the cam on stay forward. That's what I used uh, Garincha in. If you've, yeah, I, yeah, I've seen Garincha's coming out before this. If you've not seen that, go check yeah. out that review. Definitely, it'll be a big, big prime boy. Yeah, um, that's the only change that we make. And then, so your left centre mid. This is somebody. I mean, attackers is pretty straightforward. Yeah, you can see who I've got. I'm a sweaty little mess that I am. And your left centre mid, I'm not going to say you want him to be a box-to-box, -box, but I want, I want to say he's going to be your more... You kind of like your, defend, your more defensive one. For me, yeah, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it's funny that I've got Awa there. It says a lot, but <laughs> he's a lot more defensive this year than he has been in previous years due to the new body type yeah. uh, and the fact he's got a bit of weight about him. Um, I've got him on getting to the box for crosses. And cover centre. Oh, bloody. No, not marking you. Sorry. Jesus, I've gone mad. Cover centre. Yeah. Um, For me, him and Fafana are the main CD, uh, like centre mid CDMs mm -hmm. in defence. But with the getting to the box for crosses, he does lurk, you know, more outside of it, to be honest with you. Because when it says getting to the box for crosses, it just means to go forward a little bit more. Yeah, it it's means not... just get up there a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Then Lucas Vasquez, for me, still one of the most underrated CMs players in the game I you know I wish I wish that everyone had done him in a way because yeah. he's that good I just leave him on simple Rob I don't change just anything basic. okay yeah I, I like him on cover wing because yeah. I find that he'll kind of drop around like he'll, he won't specifically cover just the right wing he'll drop into positions that are a bit more needed yeah his AI will just you know he's got a pretty good defensive um, stats anyway yeah. and I find that he just drops into where he's needed I don't want him getting forward particularly much I think if you're gonna play a bit more cautious maybe have him on stay back mm -hmm. um, but I, I don't think you need to I, for me Lucas Vasquez he finds himself in the right positions pretty much most of the time anyway so no yeah. problems there so you go forward then, with him more than our do you think I, w I don't know mate honestly I, th I think I'm in chant. I'm in like more creative chances with Awa. Yeah. But I'd say I'm on the ball with Lucas Vasquez more. I think I recycle possession a lot with Lucas. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, he's really good in that role. Here, you want somebody that's quite versatile. Um, kind of like anyone that's in the Lucas and uh, Lucas Vasquez role that's quite fast, really, because yeah, like got... uh, Valverde. Valverde. Yeah, Valverde role that'd be really good as well. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna like Renato would be another one. Players. Well-rounded players, basically. Ooh, yeah. uh, you, maybe even Guendouzi or Lorente, Gravenberch, Modric. Yeah. Those boys. Um, CDM for Fana. My boy. Yeah, I love, love him. Though, yeah. I really do. Stay back, cut passing lanes, and cover centre. This, okay. I'm going to say, is probably the most demanding position on the pitch. I love Fafana. But he could be better. He definitely yeah, could be better. I think you need to try, Jack. Someone from my playbook. Sir Fred. I knew he was going to say that. For me, I want to try Malinkovic in this role. He does look amazing as well. Um, He's six foot four, hard as fuck. Yeah. Four star, five star. Very silky dribbling. I really want to try him here. He's only 125k, but just chemistry is tough. Yeah. Um, but you want somebody that's... I'm not going to say Fafana's clunky, but... Ideal world, you want something that's a bit more comfortable on the ball because they will be inviting a lot of pressure. Yeah. Um, especially if you 
the one that plays that I have all the time is that I hold possession with my C CDM and then all your front five go forward and your, your Awar and your Lucas Vasquez almost act as really wide wingers. Yeah. So you need to be comfortable on the ball to be able to get the ball to them and then you can, you can like cut inside more and get some really, really good chances with yeah. your, like your middle three because basically you're creating overloads with those two guys pushing up yeah. and you know due to the tactic with the getting to the box for crosses and the fact that he's not on stay back or you yeah. know anything like that so somebody comfortable on the ball Milinkovic like I say would be a perfect player for this role yeah. that's why I love um, Fred so much because his dribbling is so good Fred uh, yeah. I think he's got like 93 agility off the top of my head like yeah he's, he's silky isn't he um, um, yeah he's got the 4 star 4 star honestly if you've not already boys I know I rave about him in every video he's got 93 agility and 92 balance he's someone right. that, like you know you've got your CDMs that can just sit there yeah. and, and take it uh, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Like, you know, like a ones to watch Delaney or someone like that. But yeah. having someone dynamic that can take the ball forward a little bit as well and then play a nice yeah. pass, it's underrated. Yeah, for it's not bad at it because he's got 85 dribbling. Yeah. Um, so it's not bad, but... It looks like the Kaku know, at CDM, doesn't it, though? Yeah. Like, you want, like, a Pogba, a Kessie would be quite a good roles. Yeah. Um, maybe even, like, a Goretzka. I like Goretzka when I use him. Vidal's. Um, yeah. Ooh, him Vidal's good. Yeah, Tenali, maybe. Even that Etebo, if you did him. Yeah. Um, it'd be a really good candidate for it. And then, yeah. finally, just stay back on your on your full backs. I know a lot of people like overlap. I'm, I, I don't think overlap and stay back go together at all. No. For um, me, overlap. with yeah, the direct on. passing, they get forward enough, like the perfect yeah. amount for me. They're more than when you're using like a balanced attack with step up while attacking. You can notice, like when I've got Cancelo, he goes forward quite a bit. Yes. But it's not at bad times. Like, it's times where I'm like, oh, I need an overlap here. And he's there. It, it genuinely does help. I yeah. don't know how For the me, AI that, does it. That side of Hakimi and Lucas Vasquez exchange perfectly. Yeah. They are so good together that, honestly, they're like bloody apple and cheese or, you know, a crackers and cheese or something like that. Gromit's apple in the and cheese. Going, apple and cheese is a great combo. Don't at me. I'm not scared right. to fight anyone that disagrees. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Let you want to comment if you do disagree. Yeah, if you don't. <laughs> there. But yeah, you want players. I mean, for me, Phil and Mendy and Marquinhos are kind of. I don't know. I don't really like them yeah. um, that much. Thiago Diallo, by the way, those were the tactics. But Thiago Diallo, this guy is the best centre back I've used. Really? Um, this year. And stats are nuts, aren't they? They are crazy. He is the perfect kind of role. You know, if you want to look at this archetype um, of centre back, this is what you want. Um, yeah, another guy that I've used that has really impressed me is the Winter Wonder, Winter Wildcard. I always call it Winter Wonderland. Uh, Collins. No, uh, I've got Collins, him right here. Yeah. He's tradable. Um, brilliant stats as well. I've used him a fair bit. But players that have got pretty good dribbling, uh, yeah. pretty good passing and fast as fuck. And yeah, that good new Teze physical. looks really good as well. For like, what, yeah, you've 15K? been charming, haven't you? Yeah, I have. Um, so, yeah. For me, long term, what great... Well, longer term, these two are definitely... Gotta go. It's yeah. time to go. Um, Maybe like Kozic out? Do you think you could, uh, you could no, do an M? I, I don't want him. I don't want him. I've done enough SPCs now. And it's time to stop. I need to <laughs> calm down a little bit okay. with them now. But those have been the tactics. Obviously, I went 9-1 and one in qualifiers. Yeah. So annoyed. I choked the last one. Otherwise, I would be clickbaiting these. <laughs> like hell saying undefeatable or unbeatable yeah. or crazy cracked out. But anyway. You could uh, know. get Alex Moreno left back, Jack. I, I was thinking about it, but... I, I didn't. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. Um, Maybe that could have got you, you guys, an extra win. Shut up. <laughs> it could have, but unlikely. Um, yeah. But yeah, if you guys have liked the video, make sure to like the video down below. Drop a thumbs up. It helps us so much. We're on the way to 2K. We're not too far we away. We're hoping yeah. to do it by the end of Jan. That's our, that's our target. It's going to be tough, but I'm sure with your guys' support, we can do it. Make sure to sub. Make sure to ding the notification bell. Let us know what formation you've been using down below in the comments. Well, until next time, I've been Jack. I've been Robbie. And we'll be back at Pitch Gaming. We will see you in the next one. See you later.